I've been arrested a bunch of times. You might have guessed that one too, huh? The last time I was arrested, I was minding my own business, lighting off firecrackers in Hermosa Beach. It's, it's 4th of July. And uh, I threw them underneath some horses with sheriffs on top of them. Because <laughs> I'm a patriot. Real shit, it made uh, three local newspapers <laughs> and my mom cry. Just Google my name, Google Craig Conant, Hermosa Beach Fireworks. There's an article titled, Deputies Lasso Lamita Man. <laughs> I was Lamita Man, baby, yeah. But the cops are idiots, they're like, why were you running? Because you're fucking chasing me on horses. <laughs> Have you guys ever been galloped after by a posse of sheriffs on horses? You feel alive, you know? <laughs> and then they're like, where are the drugs at? Where are they at, hippie? And I was like, in my body. You're too late, piggy. I fucking did them. <laughs> Yeah, that joke cost me $12,000. <laughs> a lot of married people here tonight. I hear you guys married. Yeah, you got kids? That's awesome. I, I almost had kids. I, I was with my girlfriend, and, but there was pressure. She wanted to have kids right away. We'd be at the park walking the dog. She'd see a couple with a baby. It's like, we need a baby. Just my luck, you never see anybody at the park with like a flat screen TV. <laughs> My technological clock is ticking, is all I'm saying. <laughs> but I worry about weird things. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. When she was pregnant, did you still? <laughs> yeah? I couldn't do that, no way. Absolutely not, two reasons. One, it's your wife. Don't get mad, you know I'm just kidding, right? It's a beautiful woman, I'd work her like a second job. But I, I just worry about weird things. Like I'd be scared to death there's somebody inside going, stop, sit out. I did that joke at one show when a woman yells out, silly, that's how they get dimples. I got totally creeped out. Cause I have dimples. I got recognized the other day actually at the airport. I was there, TSA lady recognized me. Right, she grabbed my license, she looked at me, she's like. Oh shit. <laughs> couples at? Any couples here? <laughs> Fuck you. I hate couples. Let me tell you, TV has soured me on every couple in the world. I have OCD or ADD. I don't know which DD, but it's a DD. <laughs> I got a DD. You know, DADD, -D, I got daddy issues too, but that's a whole nother story. Y'all don't want to hear about me and my father. Okay, so here's the deal. I am addicted to that show, Strange Addictions. Have y'all seen that? Okay, so Strange Addictions is like when somebody has a strange addiction, like they had this lady on there and she used to eat the, the wall. She would just, she would just 
eat the eat the wall, sir. Right? She would just eat the wall. Right? They had another lady. She would eat her dead husband's ashes. They had another lady on there. She would spray air freshener into her mouth. Sometimes she would spray it in a cup over ice because she's classy. Fresh, fresh linen, I must add. It was the fresh linen brand. Then they had another person on there, and they used to eat the soil, like just, just walking on the street and just eat the soil. And she loved the, the white rocks or whatever like that. This is why I hate couples, because all of those people were married. <laughs> Here I am, a semi-unprofessional stand-up comic, can't find a date, can't buy a date, or whatever like that. Are you single, sir? Are you gay? No. Oh, well then. <laughs> but this is all that I want to tell you. 323-704. I'll give you the rest later. I don't want to make people jealous or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I live in the valley. We got one woo, very soft in the corner over there. One valley girl amongst the rest of you. Guys, fellas, that's the chick you want to stay the fuck away from, okay? <laughs> Valley girls are crazy. I don't know why, but for some reason, they always add extra syllables to my name. <laughs> I was dating a valley girl recently, and this was her. What are we doing tonight, Brian? <laughs> I just wanted to say nothing with you, crazy. <laughs> and I only started dating this valley girl because she told me she was bi. Thought that was gonna be hot, you know? It was real clear by the end of the first date that she meant polar. <laughs> and now that I'm sober, it's hard hitting on women. I work at Trader Joe's. That's not a joke. <laughs> and this cute girl was coming through my line and she was purchasing milk chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel nougats. <laughs> they're 329, they're fucking delicious, man. <laughs> Go get them. But she held them up and she's like, you know what I'll be doing tonight? And I was like, what, getting diarrhea? <laughs> it got weird, man. And then an another cute girl was coming through my line. And I I'm a comedian working at a grocery store, so I'm always pushing the envelope of what to say, you know? And this girl was purchasing toilet paper. And I just looked at her and I was like, oh, <laughs> gonna wipe that ass tonight, huh? <laughs> it got weird again, dude. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of Angela Bassett movies. Inside, I feel like a black woman. <laughs> I noticed something about Angela Bassett when she's in movies. Everything is very dramatic, even the littlest things. Right? Little kids like, hey, Ma, can you pass the salt? What I took you about the goddamn salt. Oh, your blood pressure through the rope! <laughs> your great granddaddy had a lot of salt. <laughs> Look where his ass is now. <laughs> Black people laugh at that, white people aren't sure, they don't know. <laughs> Let me call a friend on this one. Me... I got an audible here, I don't know. No, I am a negative person, and I'm from New York, so I mean, it goes with my character. It just goes with it. But I saw, this, I saw this commercial and it was so inspiring. And I was like, oh my God. I said, if this would just melt my little cold heart, right? <laughs> there was a guy and he was in a wheelchair. He was a quadriplegic. I know, oh, right. Thank you for the sound effects, I, I like that. <laughs> Right? He had gotten into some accident or whatever like that, and he had a wife and three kids. But at the end, you know how like they're playing the, the same music that they play for the starving African children? Right? So they were playing that music. So I was like, oh my God, Africa, I need to like get my five dollars, but I don't because I don't have any checks. But that's a whole nother story. Y'all don't need to know that part. Okay. Here I am with this story. So the guy, he said at the end, he said, I just learned how to live again. Wasn't that wonderful? 
And so I said to myself, I said, Torrance, I said, you know, if that would have happened to you, if you ever became, you know, uh, in a wheelchair, would you be like that positive? I can tell y'all without a shadow of a doubt, no. <laughs> if I ever become quadriplegic, paraplegic, or just plain plegic, <laughs> pull the plug on my black ass. I have absolutely nothing against people in wheelchairs. I have the highest respect, but I know me. I don't have a catchy catchphrase. I'm a whiner. I'm going to be the person that's sitting up there saying, why does this have to happen to me, Lord? Why does this have to happen to me, Lord? I could point to 20 other people that this should have happened to, Lord. Well, I can't point, can I, Lord? <laughs> I think we all know I'm going to heaven adjacent, like with that one right there. I've, I've made my peace with it. I have made my peace with it. Yes! Oh my gosh, you guys, I am just happy to be out of the house. Yeah, I got little kids. Anyone got kids in here? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're happy too. I'm drinking. Good. Yeah. Yeah, kids, man, they change your life. Here's the thing. I got, I got a boy and a little girl, right? Uh, which is a nightmare for potty training. Uh, that is a nightmare because it's different from boys to girls, isn't it? Yeah. Because one day the boy needs to learn to pee standing up, and hopefully your girl doesn't. That'd be weird. All right? <laughs> And one lady in, the, in one of my audiences yell out at me. And she's like, she, you know, with the potty train you know, standing up, she's like, she's like, Cheerios! I'm like, Cheerios? For Target! To drown the Cheerios! I'm like, lady, you need a bigger cereal! All right? I can't even hit Cheerios, man. What am I, a sniper? Come on! Come on Cheerios, give them something to hit. Get them a frosted mini wheat, a pot tart, a waffle. You know what I mean? Build up to the Cheerio. Give the kid a chance. <laughs> Some of the older guys in here are like, I can hit 20 Cheerios at the same time. I got the spread action going on. Yeah. Because peeing changes when you get older, right? There's four streams, you guys. All right? Yeah, there's one. This one's all willy-nilly. goes everywhere. You have no idea where it's going. The other two are fairly accurate, and the fourth one doesn't even come alive until you put it back in your pants and ruins your khakis. Right? It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> So I got my son hitting it like 85% of the time, so I figure my job's done, right? And my son, he likes to pee with the bathroom door open, which he gets, I don't know what he gets it from, but as I'm walking by the bathroom, right, my son's going pee, and uh, this is what I see. And that's when we found out our shower curtain smelled like urine, so that was fun, yeah. No, so I'll tell you what's going on then, is that, listen, since January 1st of this year, until I woke up and weighed myself this morning, 22 pounds, okay, 22 pounds. I've gained 22 fucking pounds since January. It is horrible, isn't it? You know what else is horrible, man? If you, remember, if you remember, man, when Sean brought me up, my name is John Consoli. My nickname growing up was Roly Poly Consoli. <laughs> isn't that terrible? It's a horrible thing for a mother to call her son, I think. <laughs> and I tried everything, man. I was a fat little kid to grow up into a fat little man. and I'm trying everything. I'm trying all these fad diets. Anybody besides me, Dan Marino, and Marie Osmond tried a Nutrisystem? Anybody, just us three? Just say, if you're not familiar with the program, Nutrisystem, that's the one where they send you food, UPS, in a box. Now, I'm Italian from Brooklyn, New York. You send me food in a, thank you, thank you. Brother, you from Brooklyn too? If they send us food in a box, there better be a fucking pizza in there, right? <laughs> but it ain't, man, it's Pomona Gardens, they just popped that guy, they shot him in the head, we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna talk to these people. I see you fuckers at home. On the flight, I'll see you on JetBlue. JetBlue, there's some bullshit. I flew here JetBlue. It did. <laughs> Holy shit. No, but I, I, spent, I spent $35 to upgrade to what they call an even more space seat. <laughs> Jokes like, tur turns out even more space seat means even more leg room seat. Do I look like a man that gives a shit about leg room? <laughs> 
I'm five foot four, 230 pounds with an ass like a watermelon. I would like an even more ass room seat. I'll pay you for that. I'll drop 35. Let me get my ass in a seat just for one time. Leg room. I don't need no leg room. I could, I could push that seat back, put my feet up on a tray table. I'm good all the way to JFK. As a matter of fact, I don't think the whole weight thing, what it is is that, you know, it's just distribution of the way my body is built. It's like a cosmic joke because I'm like, I have the upper body of like a retired NFL linebacker and the lower body of a midget. <laughs> Munchkin American, ma'am. Is that better for you? You look a lot tight there. Up. Can't say anything anymore. You got to watch what you say. I was at the, uh, I was in... I was in Atlantic City at the Borgata, right? And I did that joke, which I want to point out for you nice people. It calls me, I call me a midget. Call me a midget, right? So after the show, I'm out in the lobby, people are taking pictures, I'm hanging out, and the crowd parts, and this little dude, about yay big, comes stamping up, all angry, reaches up, slaps me in the knee. And I, <laughs> and I look down at him and go, what's up? He goes, I'm not happy. I said, yeah, which one are you? Oh, <laughs>